This is our street scene, looking at it through a perspective viewport in the lower right side of the four viewports. We want to animate a camera traveling up the street. The first thing we'll create is the dummy helper object. This will be animated along the path in the same way that we animated our beaker 2 previously along a path. We can find the helper objects in the Command Panel Create tab. In the Create panel, click the Helper button, which is the one that looks like a tape measure. Under the Object Type, click the Dummy button. The dummy is a cube-shaped object that's only wireframe and will never render in your scenes. It's just a helper. In the Perspective viewport, somewhere in the Road area, click and drag to create the dummy object. It doesn't matter how big you create your dummy. That has no effect on how the dummy operates. So make the dummy as large as you need to in order to be able to see it. The object will be called Dummy001, and that's fine for our purposes. While it's the selected object, we need to animate it along the path that runs up the center of the road. We already know how to do that. In the Animation menu, select Constraints, path constraint. Once you move your cursor back over the perspective viewport, you should see the rubber band line appear, which is the white dotted line. Then click on the line that's running down the middle of the street. That will assign the dummy to move along that path. And the dummy object now has a path constraint assigned to it. Next, drag the frame slider and you'll see that the dummy object moves along the path as it travels up the road. An important thing to understand here is that the travel of the dummy object up the road is dependent on the position of the path. Therefore, if we want to change the starting and ending point of the dummy as it travels up the road, we need to edit the path in order to accomplish that. In the Navigation Tools, click Zoom Extents All Selected. This will zoom all the viewports into our dummy object. Then click Zoom All to activate it. And in the Perspective viewport, click and drag down a little bit to zoom all the viewports out, just so we can see what's going on around the dummy object. Before we move on, make sure you set the time slider to frame zero.